Welcome, everyone, to our very first TCA and TCA Women's, Virtu Women's Federation virtual event. In the past, we had very various physical events with live performances, food to eat, and a lot of other wonderful celebrations. But unfortunately, with COVID, it's exceptional times, and we needed to adapt. And that's the culmination of today. We all miss seeing the community and interacting with the people. So we hope that this event today will bring you a little back, bring you back a little something to remind you of all the events that we did have. And to also take this opportunity to thank those in the community that have done and have given us so much. The TCA and Hongning Old Age Home are a nonprofit organization and we rely on the assistance and support of all of you out there. And during this time of COVID, you have really played your part and have come together to support us when we needed you the most. So part of today is to say thank you to all of you for your continued support. Today, we have a great lineup of events and special guests, celebrities, lion dancing, Chinese singers, Kung Fu artists, TikTok star, the previous Miss Chinese South Africa, and many much more. Today is Heritage Day. So happy Heritage Day to all of you and is where we remember where we came from. Many of us are born here in South Africa and have been here for many generations, but that does not mean that we should forget who we are and where we came from, our culture, our history, and our heritage. And thus, we are celebrating today's Heritage Day with a Chinese flavor, and it's also where we are welcome in the Mid-Autumn Moon Festival. So, I hope you all just sit back, relax, and I trust some of you are having a braai and maybe enjoying a cold beer, but I do hope you enjoy this event and the effort and work that many of us have put in to make today possible. So without further ado, what is a Chinese event without the Chinese lion? So I'd like you all to welcome the Zhonghua Lion and Dragon Dancers who will perform the lion dance with a special South African twist. Please do enjoy.
happy middle of the moon festival. And happy 14th anniversary to TCA's Women's Federation. Thank you very much to Bridget, Aiden, and the dancers of the uh, Zhonghua Lion Dancers. So next up, I'd now like you to welcome for the opening remarks, Consul General Tang of the Consulate in Johannesburg of the People's Republic of China, followed by an introduction to the TCA Executive and TCA Women's Federation. Thank you, Ewan. 尊敬的杜省中华公会每年印象很深也很感慨杜省中华公会成立到现在有一百一十多年了去年杜省中华公会代表华人社区获得平等法院当前新冠肺炎疫情仍在全球蔓延马上就是中国传统的中秋佳节了，在此祝福大家中秋快乐，吉祥如意，谢谢。My name is Erwin Pon and I'm chairman of the TCA. I'm passionate about the people in our community and all the wonderful things that we can achieve by working closer together. My objectives of working with the TCA 
is to ensure that the community has a voice in the broader South African communities and to ensure that we raise our issues and that our voices are heard about all the issues that we may have. But furthermore, I hope that through our actions, we're able to promote Chinese culture, get people to understand a lot more about the Chinese community here in South Africa, and ensure that people are proud of their heritage, their culture, and their history. of TCA and my portfolio is education and culture. I'd like to promote more Chinese culture to our community and also cultural exchange amongst our fellow South African communities. Hi, my name is Francis Lai Hong. I am the Vice Chairman of the Chinese Association as well as the Hongning Chinese Aged Home. My main role in both of these organizations is to provide a financial and administrative capability. My background is one of investment banking and trading, uh, from which I retired in 2004 from Rand Merchant Bank, where I headed up the currency derivatives and trading and structuring units. I'm also available as a strategic floating resource as and when such issues arise. For example, the recent hate speech case, where I was an integral member of a task team that was formed to tackle certain issues relating to this. I'm also part of a team of individuals from both local and overseas Chinese associations that have been formed to oppose the recent spate of very negative anti-Chinese sentiments that have appeared in Western press and social media recently. Hi everybody, my name is Shirlene Mann and I am in charge of the TSA Women's Federation. I enjoy interacting with people of all ages. I also care for the elderly and am on the Hong Lin Committee. For the past 40 years, I've been involved in sports and I am the Honorary President of SAXA and also serve on the Southern Gauteng Chinese Sports Association. We welcome and need new blood, so please come and join us in serving the community. My vision for the TSA Women's Fed is to unite all women of all ages and to fight for our rights. We can only do this by working as one and learn and respect and support one another. I also urge you all to be proud of your heritage and keep in touch with the Chinese culture. As we are a rainbow nation, we need to interact with other nationalities and also learn and respect their cultures. My name is Jackson Leong. I have been involved with the community work for over 50 years. I hope that I can continue to serve the community for I enjoy my dentistry. I'm a proudly South African born Chinese. And I love my German shepherds. Hi, my name is Winken Leung, and my portfolio is Care for the Aged. I, together with the Hongming Committee, and committed to providing a warm, safe and nurturing environment for the aged in our community. There are three main goals I would like to achieve during my time as Chairman of Hongming. 
The first is to improve the standard of care at the home so that it would be comparable with the best privately run old age homes in the country. Second, to get Hongning to a more stable financial position that will ensure its long term future. And third, to relocate the home to a better area because as many of you are aware, the home is situated in an area which has deteriorated very badly in the past few years. This is a huge project that will require input from the community as well as the many associations. If we succeed in finding a new home, we would attract more residents from both the local and new immigrant Chinese communities, which would then lead to the long-term survival of the home. Finally, I'd like to mention the wonderful support we have had during the pandemic. We have had substantial donations from both the local and the new immigrant Chinese communities, the Chinese Embassy, the Consulate, private businesses, large corporations, the numerous Chinese associations, and also from many ex-South Africans living all over the world. The generous donations received include money, personal protection equipment, medical equipment such as oxygen concentrators, traditional Chinese medicine, foodstuff and services such as the sanitizing of our premises, and finally even free medical care for some of our residents from various doctors and dentists within our community. Without this amazing help and support, the home would not have survived this lockdown. So a big thank you from the residents, staff and committee of Hongnin. Thank you, thank you. I'm Paulette Leong and I've been on TCA for over 15 years with roles such as General Secretary, English Secretary and I'm currently the Treasurer. I compile the email newsletters and oversee the website content, plus frequently post on the Facebook page. I enjoy serving the community. And I'm passionate in arranging events to bring the Chinese community together to maintain their culture. I enjoy doing the marketing through newsletters, websites and Facebook, as communication is key to bringing the community together. My name is Barry Fang. I'm from Kaohsiung, Taiwan. My title in TCA is Secretary General. So this is my passion. I like to explore different ideas and then also to make business ideas happen. Um, so through my role in TCA, I'm hoping to help the Chinese community in general to gain more confidence through knowledge, understanding the various topics. And also I'm aiming to achieve, uh, well, I'm also aiming to help the Chinese community to build a positive image. And one last thing is to help to bridge the gap uh, between Taiwanese, local Chinese and mainland Chinese to have more understanding and tolerance for each other. My name is William Leon. I'm in charge of the TSA Building Utility Account Board in Johannesburg. Hi everyone, my name is Ellen and I'm part of the Youth Division of DCA. I'm passionate about family, I'm a mom of two boys, so I'm all about the family life. I grew up in South Africa with an older brother and a younger sister. And growing up I remember my parents were very busy, they were very busy with work, so they didn't have much time to really teach myself and my siblings much about our cultural upbringing. And looking back, uh, being Chinese wasn't very cool at school. You did get teased a lot and bullied now and then. And it can be a very confusing time, especially during your teenage years. So looking back, um, I believe it's very important because knowing about your culture and experiencing that um, helps in creating and building a sense of identity and self-esteem. And what I hope to achieve is to really just create a greater cultural awareness among South Africans, local or not, um, but to see particularly in the younger generation, um, to see them digging a lot deeper into their culture and their heritage and using that knowledge, incorporating it into their daily lives, 
into their families, sharing it with their friends, and really just seeing them being proud of who they are. the Chinese Secretary of the TCA and my business or trade is involved in the translations where I'm the practicing strong translator for the Department of Justice. So I've been in practice for more than 20 years. Besides the courts that I actually go to, I also do a lot of bridging communications for big corporations and also to deal with people fusion and people culture assisting both parties to understand both cultures to better their relationships as well. My personal interest is organizing of charity events. We, we have been involved in community services where we outreach to the destitute for the past 19 years. I've been actually also quite uh, privileged in the sense that I was able to publish my first book named my journey as a colored person to the apartheid South Africa. The book motivates people, no matter what background you come from, harsh or easy, good, bad, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And lastly, I have a love for turbocharged cars. So being a rebel nation, being South African, I think you know what I mean. Cheers. Thank you all. I'm Melissa, TCA's youth representative. I'm really passionate about helping the community, especially the youth, to really take pride in who they are. I'd like for us to claim full ownership of our identity and really feel part of a rainbow nation. I'd also like to create a bridge between all the different parts of our community so that we may stand united no matter what our background is. I am Shirlene Mann and I am the Chairman of the TSA Women's Federation. My committee and I enjoy arranging the functions and interacting with you all. During my spare time, I enjoy doing all kinds of crafts, embroidery and baking. I would like to introduce you to the rest of the gang. Hello, my name is Claudia Coney. I'm the Vice Chairperson of the TSA Women's Fed. I've been with the Women's Fed since inception. My hobbies are volleyball, arts and crafts, and of course my family. Um, my passion is development of youth through sports. I also belong to the Women's Fed. Please come and join us. There are lots to do and lots of fun. My name is Maureen Locke Fett. I'm Paulette Leong and have been on the TCA Women's Federation for 14 years. I enjoy helping organize the quarterly events and in so doing, supporting the charities that they choose. I also love traveling and movies, plus looking after my son Dar Daniel and husband Daryl. Hi everyone, my name is Sheila Sun and welcome to the virtual Zoom event. My interests are in travel, baking and knitting. My passion is in dancing and listening to music. I have been with TCA Women's Federation for more than 10 years. So why don't you come on board and join us? Thank you. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Queenie Toy. I've been a member of the Women's Fed for the last 11 years. My interest is in baking, cooking, and gardening. Thank you. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I work for a large IT company, and this is what I enjoy doing best, which is crocheting. I also enjoy baking and sewing. My name is Susan Kwan. Usually all my friends call me Sue. I am passionate about reading, knitting, and traveling. Please keep safe and stay well. Thank you. I'm Teresa Leong. My interests are reading, music, theatre, 
cooking, little craft, sport, and as you can see, art as well. Come join the Women's Federation. Hi, I'm Yvonne, and I've been a member of TCA Women's Fed from the beginning. Hi, I'm Shirley Fung, and I've been part of the TCA Women's Fed for the last 14 years. Hi, my name is Linda. I'm sitting in my favourite spot and reading a great book and having a warm cup of coffee. Cheers! Hi, my name is Maureen. Pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm Lavona Wingyip. I am a proud member of the TCA Women's Federation. We serve on all charities as much as we can and I'm proud to be of assistance. Hi everyone, my name is Faiza Lark. A message to everyone is that I think it's very important for young people to get more involved in the Asian community. I also think it is important for us to build a bridge between Eastern and Western culture so we can facilitate understanding towards each other. I'm also very passionate about fighting against gender-based violence and as well as ending period poverty and that's why I'm involved with uh, amazing organizations like the MENA Foundation. Hi everyone, my name is Ellen. Uh, I'm a mom of two boys. I joined the TCA Women's Federation so that I can inspire and hope to be inspired by women from all walks of life. Um, a lot of people don't know I love bugs. <laughs> um, I think the perfect day out would be with my family and my kids. We go on a hike or a safari and we just go look for bugs. Great, thanks very much to all of you who participated. I hope you now uh, get a better view in terms of an understanding of who's in our committee, who's in our community, and uh, for all the work that they really do. So next up, I'd now like to introduce you to the chair lady of the TCA Women's Federation. Hello, Shirley. Hi, Owen, nice to meet you today. Good, good, good. So how are you feeling? Very well. I'm feeling very excited to say hello to everybody all over the world. And I feel in some way we are all connected today. Fantastic. Yes, it's uh, extraordinary times, but uh, extraordinary times, you know, we have to do different things. So I do hope those people enjoy it. So, Shirlene, let's kick off. Um, what made you today? We're also celebrating the 14th anniversary of the TCA Women's Federation. Tell us a little bit more about what made you start this in the beginning? Well, Erwin, I've always been involved in sports from a young age and I've always been arranging sports. And on weekends when I see the moms bringing their children to play basketball, everybody asks me, but what about the mothers? What about the mothers that aren't doing anything? And that got my brain ticking to start something for the mothers. And that's how it all started. CSE. And, you know, over the last 14 years, you guys have hosted so many, many events. Tell us a little bit of the highlights and what were the typical highlights of, of, of all the events that you've, that you've hosted? Well, we've done a lot. We try to do at least six events a year. So one of the highlights is we did a fundraising for Save the Rhino, which was very significant for South Africans. Um, each year we do a walk for cancer and chalk and chalk. We also arrange a um, tour to Fixburg for cherry picking to get everybody away for the weekend. We need blankets for charity. At Christmas time, we collect food parcels for the poor. We, one of the big highlights that we do is we arrange the ball for TCA, uh, which is a new year dinner dance ball. And part of this goes to Hong Ning. Our main charity is supporting Hong Ning, raising funds for them, see that we can do something for the older people there. We also do the annual Bride Day and the Hong Ning Golf Day. 
That's a lot of events. And I've always said that the TCA Women's Federation is really the pillar and the foundation of our organization because uh, you and your team do so much work and, and arrange all these events. And for that, we're, we're really thankful and very, very grateful. But uh, Shaleen, tell us a little bit more now about the future of the TCA Women's Federation. What is your vision for the future? Well, you know, Erwin, I've always wanted to have a community center whereby we can play sport every year and also um, to promote our Chinese culture. Um, I would also like to have a scrum committee that can fight to lower the uh, abuse against women and children, which is, I think, very significant in South Africa. Um, and also to fight against gender discrimination. Lastly, uh, it's also to give the women some fun and some something to do during the weekends besides cooking and baking and carrying kids around. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, anything else, Auntie Shelley? Yes, um, each year the Women's Federation honor uh, the top achievers, two top achievers ladies of the past year. This year, I would like to con congratulate Charmaine Johnson Leung and Taryn Locke, as they have done a lot for the community. Well done, ladies. And lastly, Erwin, I would like to thank you for hosting this event and tackling this member's task with us. Thank you very much. Oh, it's my great pleasure. Thank you very much, uh, Sherlyn. And uh... It's been, it's been a mammoth task. It's the first time that I think we've uh, in our history to do a virtual event, but I think uh, if, so far, so good. Um, yes. And also we'll hear a lot more about the TCA Women's Federation's Women of the Year. So thank you very much, Auntie Shirley. Next up, thank you. And now, thank you. Next up, I'd like to now introduce you to some messages from other leaders in our community uh, and including our special partner, the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation, who has also given us a special message, followed by our entertainment for the day. As we are about to celebrate Heritage Day and Mid Autumn Festival, I, to be as the president of All African Association of Peaceful Reunification of China, would like to say Happy Heritage Day and Happy Mid Autumn Festival. Greeting from Water Pond, Joburg First Chinatown. Happy Moon Festival and Happy Heritage Day to one and all. Congrats to the Women's Fed on your 14th anniversary. Carry on the good work. I'm Anita Zhu, Chair Lady of Africa Chinese Women Association. On behalf of all the Chinese ladies, I wish all the SA residents a happy Heritage Day. Congratulations to Women's Fed, a happy 14th anniversary and wish the Chinese community a happy Moon Festival. Warmest greetings to all of our friends, especially our friends and residents in the city of Johannesburg. Thank you very much to Chairperson Owen Pong to give me this wonderful opportunity to bring you a message of uh, congratulations and uh, regards for a very important uh, Chinese uh, cultural celebration. Uh, it is the Mid-Autumn Festival and of course also our South African Heritage Day celebration. I want to say thank you so much. I want to say once again we've come out not only as a nation in South Africa but as a culture to say that we will celebrate our best amongst the most difficult times 
and ensure that uh, this mood of joyfulness and celebration be conveyed to all the people of South Africa and around the world. Once again, thank you so much. Please uh, be safe out there, take care of yourselves and have a wonderful, wonderful celebration. Hello, 大家好。我是约翰内斯堡华新艺术团团长黄晶晶。2020年我们度过了一个不平凡的秋冬 Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is King Pon, Chairman of SA, Shinder Friendship Association. On behalf of our organization, we congratulate the TCA Women's Federation on their 14th anniversary. Under the able leadership of Shirlene Mann, we have debunked the misconception that the role of the Chinese woman is at home. We have shown support, care and compassion for our aged and welfare organizations and highlighted the plight of our endangered animals. Your members have shown that they are more, most well equipped to meet the challenges of the modern corporate world. You have given credence to the Women's Federation and, and truly an asset to our community. Finally, we wish you all Happy Moon Festival. Greetings from the Ahmed Kastrada Foundation. This is a special message to the Chinese community in South Africa, a Heritage Day message. We are a nation still in the making. Our national identity is one that is still being forged daily throughout South Africa. We however have a constitution that embodies the best of our aspirations and the best of our ideals. Our constitutional values should be strengthened with work that defines our national identity as being one that is based on integrity and not corruption. It should be one that is based on solidarity and not selfishness. And should be one that celebrates all cultures, religions and faiths equally. And it is on that basis that we extend our greetings because we know that, that the association shares these ideals with many in South Africa today. And we, we therefore take the opportunity to wish you well on this Heritage Day and furthermore wishing all celebrating a Happy Moon Festival. Lastly, we want to thank you for the solidarity pledged for all of the anti-racism work of the foundation and know that we stand full, fully behind you in all of your efforts to tackle anti-Chinese racism and discrimination in South Africa. Have a good day. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm De Man Ying, chair lady of Hua Xing Chinese School and the mentor of Waterlight International Association, Johannesburg chapter. On this Heritage Day, I wish you all the best, stay safe, and take care. 尊敬的領導, 尊敬的嘉賓, 今天起奉南非文化遺產傳承日及南非華人婦女聯誼會的華誕, 同時承接祝願南非華人婦女聯誼會會務奉不發展正正日常祝女士們青春常駐幸福快樂多謝大家。Um, I was chairman of CASA and the TCA many years ago. I wish you all a happy Heritage Day as well as a happy Moon Festival. And to the TCA Women's League, 
Happy 14th anniversary. Hi, I'm Claire Chum, a former NGCSA chairman now living in Sydney. To everyone in South Africa, I'd like to wish you a happy Heritage Day. Congratulations to TCA Women's Federation on their 14th anniversary. To TCA and TCAWA, you guys are doing an excellent job there. Keep up the good work. art of Tai Chi, practiced by nearly 250 million people worldwide as a defense training and for its health benefits. I am a martial arts instructor. I teach karate, traditional Okinawan weapons and Tai Chi. I also graduated from the Witt School of Arts. Currently at the moment my teaching and my training takes precedence over my art making but I like to think of myself as an artist on both the martial sense and the fine art sense as well. I was very uh, lucky to be able to amalgamate the two together. With his careful Tai Chi movements, Lee creates beautiful art pieces, but it's his practice that brings mindful flow to his life. I was always interested in some kind of performance. So that work was me completely interacting with my drawing. It sort of talks about the idea of being one with my drawing, belonging to my drawing, but also, in, in a sense, discovering yourself, what gives you a sense of belonging. I'm still quite a young artist, I'm still doing a lot of exploring. Currently, I'm working with a, a collective who, where we will be speaking about the Chinese diaspora in South Africa. Just sort of ideas of promoting culture, how do we feel as a diaspora, what sort of di di uh, discrimination the Chinese people face, especially during this time of COVID where there have been a very very radical and quite nasty things said about Chinese people. 
Away from his dojo, Jardin has had to rely on technology to continue teaching. I personally am not a fan of teaching online on Zoom. I, I like having that connection with my students. It's, it's very frustrating, but okay, slowly, slowly, we're trying to make it work. And, you know, I've got, got a, quite a few classes running. And, you know, at the moment, it's just trying to make do. The pandemic has forced everyone to be a little bit more mindful. And I, again, that's what I think martial arts is all about. Martial arts inherently developed for the person to defend themselves. But for me, martial arts is more of a way of life. It's, a, it's more of a philosophy. Desjardins has combined art and motion, but it's his heritage that inspires him. I like to consider myself South African, but I do have Chinese roots. And I think for many, if I can say, indigenized Chinese people all over the world, the diaspora mustn't forget their roots, never forget your roots. Julie Shar, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.
有种幸福，叫地久天长。very much to all the performers. Uh, next up, we have another section called Dealing with the Issues Facing Our Community. Hello, I'm Joyce. I am on the TSA committee as the legal advisor. I have my own practice. I have been um, practicing as an attorney solid for close to 30 years without interruption. The practice is called NAM Ford Attorneys. I, as the NAM, deal with legal issues. Ford is my husband who manages the business operations and the finances of the practice. The practice um, is not made up of Alf and I, but also a team of good lawyers and our dedicated staff members. And we are also assisted by James and as a translator. We have a variety of um, clients from the individual to the corporate client. I've been on the panel of the banks for the last 30 years. I also um, represent Chinese state-owned companies in regard to commercial litigation and property development. James assists me with bridging the gap between the Chinese companies and ourselves to get back to TCA. Because I had my own practice, I um, was instructed by TCA to represent them and the broader Chinese community in bringing the hate speech case. I'm sure the community is well aware of this case. It could not be done without the co, with, without the assistance of the co and um, committee and um, members. Urban Pan, our chairman, he was a sterling witness. We prepared him well and he sustained vigorous cross-examination successfully. Francis Lahan, the vice chairperson, um, also assisted, he attended all the strategic meetings, he has been media and was involved in fundraising. And James, he's the Chinese Secretary of TCA, assisted with being the bridge to the broader Chinese community and in fundraising. To give you an update, it has been quite a process and a journey, this hate speech case, which was instituted in the Equality Court, the High Court. We um, are currently waiting for a um, trial date to finalise the matter. Once I've got a date, the, the community will be notified. I thank the community for their tremendous support. I am not charging, but the advocates will be arguing the matter in the finalisation of the matter need to be paid. I'm also currently involved through the efforts and dedication of Walter Pond, who negotiated with the New York brothers, which culminated in them agreeing to donate certain property situated in Chinatown to the TCA. TCA will be engaging with the community as the buildings will be for the benefit and use of the Chinese community. Landford will also be attending to the transfer. Something else that's close to my heart that I'm involved in is assisting the youth. We have bright young students. Their families, unfortunately, cannot afford the tuition fees or the accommodation costs. I, with the TSA committee, assist in fundraising. Paulette Leon, our treasurer, assists in with the applications, in collating the applications, encouraging um, applicants to apply, 
I assist in vetting and sh making a short list of the applicants, interviewing them, and in conjunction with the TSA committee, we decide which um, applicants should be awarded the bursary and the amounts they I keep in touch with some of the applicants or the successful um, recipients of the bursary. Um, they are expected to assist the TCA and the broader Chinese community in the future. I welcome, well, I think it's time that we have new blood, new ideas in TCA, and um, we look forward to young and old coming forward to offer their services. Have a good day, and I wish you all a happy heritage day. Going forward, I see a different TCA. I see that the two-tone TCA, one TCA being that of the old members that are less tech savvy, and then you have the new uh, members that are descendants of the old members that are all in professional um, jobs these days, and uh, they are a lot more um, technically advanced than, than unfortunately we are. So you can reach them quite easily via uh, social media, whereas the older uh, members of our group are still relying on older methods of communication. So you have to be careful, you know, you, you, you can say that the um, older community are dying out because of immigration and natural uh, aging process, but the young community also are not exactly going to be based here for the next 5, 10, 15 years. They are highly qualified and they are quite mobile and they are able to uh, emigrate to other countries for greener pastures if they so wish. And that is unfortunately a problem that the TCA has going forward, that we, have, we, were, we are going to face diminishing numbers from membership from both our older and our newer generation. And so I think the solution must lie in the fact that although there are many people that have left South Africa, they still have South African roots. And so TCA's boundaries must extend beyond South Africa going forward. With social media, you can actually reach people that you would never have been able to reach uh, using the old methods of communication. So we have that, we have that as a positive. Um, the other passion that drives me currently is that uh, I'm I'm a very proud Chinese person. You know, I'm I'm very um, amazed and, and and very proud of what China has achieved in the last two or three decades from being a relatively poor rural community into probably going to be the best uh, biggest economy within the next five or ten years. So I'm very proud of them. I'm not saying that we don't have problems, I'm saying, you know, we do have problems, but then so does every other country. But unfortunately, the Western press and, and, and social media, we have had so much negative anti-Chinese sentiment lately, unjustifiably so, I think. You know, so my, my, my passion is to actually find a way to combat this. And I have, we have tried at the TCA various methods. Um, I think the, the way not to go is to come out with a list of uh, pros against every con that's been accused against China. So, I mean, that just gets trashed by everybody that has a one-sided view of, on China anyway. There must be other subtle ways we can use, which we're working on at the moment, to get the point across that, you know, although things are not perfect, you know, in China, uh, it still is not the demon that the rest of the Western world are trying to paint us into. We definitely, I think, are tarnished with a, a very poisoned brush at the moment. So these are things I will be working on within the TCA with the rest of the committee going forward and with other community bodies and groups as well. China has 3,500 plus years of recorded written history and is one of the principal cradles of civilization. It has achieved what no other country in the history of mankind 
has achieved, lifting 800 billion people out of abject poverty, and it will soon regain the number one spot in the world. No other country that has dropped from its number one spot has regained that spot. China will be the first. Our cultural values are based on benevolence, courtesy, harmony, honesty, loyalty, righteousness, wisdom, and respect for our elders. Heritage is the foundation and keystone of our identity. And we must remember and respect our old and dignified culture, especially in today's world where the global media seeks to disparage China's achievements. We must not let that happen and we must retain our self-respect and dignity and national pride. We look forward to China's continued success. Happy Heritage Day.